Hello everyone, this is Gail from Gail's Upstairs Studio. Hope you're all having a great day. I just got back from my trip to Rhode Island with my husband. And as I mentioned in another video, we went through Providence. And there was a Blick Art Materials and a Jerry's Adorama about... I don't know how far apart they are, but they're not very far in distance from one another in Providence and I was able to visit both. I've never been to either one and I was so tickled and we spent a long time in each store and I bought a lot of things and I don't feel bad about it at all. <laughs> I thought I would give you a quick run through of what I got and there's a couple of other things that I bought in a smaller art store on the way home also so I'll be showing that to you but let's start with Blick. It was raining like crazy and we were soaked by the time we got in the store but it was so worth it. Some of this stuff I bought, a couple of these things are from my sister but she already knows about them so I don't feel bad showing them. So let's see we'll start with what I got for her she loves the Canson XL drawing 70 pound 140 GSM paper and it's where Canson is easy to find um, in our area this particular one isn't so much so I found them there and I bought her two so that should last her a little while and then just for good measure, I decided to throw in a set of General's drawing pencils for her. So she knows about those. She doesn't about those, but she'll have them before this video goes up. Um, the next thing is a travel watercolor palette. I wanted one that was metal so that I could magnetize it to my drawing board. I have these very heavy duty clips that I got I think at Dollar Tree and that's a very big magnet on the back and it is strong enough so that when I have my drawing board I can clip this to the top of my drawing board and then this will stay. So that's what I got that for. I don't know which of my watercolors are going in here yet. Probably a mix of Daniel Smith and M. Graham. Um, so there's that. And watercolor half pants for that. I found this up front when I was getting ready to cash out. And I use a lot of Bristol paper for lettering. And I thought these were so cute. This is a package of Bristol trading cards so I can do little lettering projects and I probably will use them as little thank you cards um, for people that purchase some of my things at craft fairs and such so that is that and I've been wanting to try the Canson Montfall watercolor paper, but they don't have them in my local store. Um, basically, locally to me, all there is is Michaels and Hobby Lobby. So where there are things, it's limited as to um, variety. So this is Canson Montfall watercolor paper, and it's 5.5 by 8.5, and I really liked the size and shape and it is perforated which is great and the other thing that I kind of jumped on to try was um, Blick has cold press 100% cotton watercolor paper so I'm gonna give that a try and this final thing is something that I have been looking at um, singular bottles of these in my local uh, Michaels I think it's at and 
I've almost picked one or two up several different times and I just haven't and while I was at Blick I found this and it is eight different colored bottles of ink. I'll open one. This one is the Emerald and I love the label and just small bottles of ink and they're all the bottles are the same shape so I won't take them all out but I will tell you all the colors there's emerald scarlet canary yellow vermilion black This is orange. <laughs> orange, blue, and violet. And I cannot wait to break those open and work with those. And this is technically called drawing inks, and they're from Windsor and Newton. And this came in the package. This is some examples of things you can do with it. That's really cool. I can't wait to play around with that. That's it for the my Blick haul. And next, I have a bag full of goodies from Jerry's Autorama. Let's see what we have in here. We have a lot of fun stuff in here, plus an extra special bonus that my husband bought for me while we were there. All kinds of things. Once again, some of this might not be very exciting for everybody, but it really is for me. Okay. First of all, I got the double palette, excuse me, the double plastic palette cups, and they are on a clip to clip onto my drawing board so that would be the same drawing board that I'm going to be magnetizing my my palette on this just clips on the edge and you can have clean and dirty water and I've been working on a travel setup um, so this is to be part of that and this here I don't know what it is about my propensity to have things upside down. Um, this is the Painter's Color Diary watercolor 100% cotton 9 by 12 paper and they're swatching pages. And I've had my eye on this on Amazon for a long time and I've just never added it to my order but I picked it up and looked at it at Jerry's and loved it so I thought I would get it. and. There's a glycine page, um, pages in between each of the swatch pages so that they don't transfer from one to another, which is great. And there's 10 pages, and if I like it, I'll probably order another one um, because they show here, you can, use, you can use watercolor, gouache, watercolor pencils, um, oil pastels and extra soft pastels so um, I have watercolor you'll see on the gouache I have watercolor pencils I don't have oil pastels yet or soft pastel yet pastels yet but probably coming at some point so that was my first my second thing Next up is very exciting for me. I've been wanting to try Mimic watercolor brushes for a long time. Um, I have uh, all kinds of different watercolor brushes. The only really recognizable name that I have uh, is Princeton. I have a couple of Princeton brushes. But I've been wanting to try the Mimic um, 
I've been wanting to try them for a while and I also needed some travel watercolor brushes. And so I found a package of Mimic travel watercolor brushes. So I got both things that I've been wanting. And they open up this way. That's a flat. And I'm not sure of the sizes. Maybe if I read it. That's an eight. <laughs> At least I didn't have it upside down this time. This is... I can't quite see it. Hang on. This is a six. This is a four. This is probably a one or a two. This is a two. I'm using a two brush more and more. As I've um, continued on with watercolor, I find myself putting more details in um, than I did at first. I, I did mostly loose florals at first. Um, but I'm finding myself wanting to put more details on now. So I've been using a two more than I ever thought I would. So that is my travel brush set, which I'm very excited about. I think I've got just about everything I need for a travel setup. So I'm very pleased about that. And there's two ways I travel. Um, when I think of travel, a travel kit, there are two different ways that I would be doing that. One is, you know, car rides and road trips like we just took actually. And another is I spend a lot of time at craft fairs and it's nice to have something to do when it's slow. So, okay, so those are my travel brushes. And I got two sketchbooks. This one I unwrapped and well I'll show you this one first. It's a 5.5 by 5.5 and it's 140 pound, 300 GSM, cold press, soft white, um, watercolor paper and this is the same thing only the dimensions are different and it's very nice nice thick as 300 gsm usually is perforated pages let's open it in the middle and lays nice and flat so i'm very happy with that Got a couple of trips coming in the next year and one trip I'm taking I'm not going to talk about right yet um, <laughs> I would like to fill a whole sketchbook just on this one trip so we'll see what happens so that's those and next I've been wanting to try gouache but I hesitate to spend a lot of money when I haven't tried something first. And I wanted to try something with a lot of colors, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And this is Marie's Master's um, gouache color. And there's two trays in here. And I just wanted to play around, mostly in a sketchbook actually. So I just wanted to try it and see if it was something that I might like to get a little further into. And because I know that you mix most colors with white, I got a Turner Design Gouache white to go with it. There is a white in here, but it's I wanted to make sure I had extra. So there's that. And 
think that's it from Jerry's. Oh no, wait. My husband was with me and he decided on getting something for me too. So you hang on a minute. I never in a million years thought I would ever have one of these. Um, I am just starting painting in plain air, mostly in my backyard because it freaks me out <laughs> to do it in public. So always encouraging my husband bought me a Peshad box. It's from Soho and it was on special at Jerry's and I'm not going to dig into it at this point. Um, I think that'll be a separate video um, but it is beautiful and this here is magnetized and when it's open it slides on the side to hold your brushes and there's magnets here and these clips are metal so when you slide it on there they automatically just kind of find the magnets and I have a tripod already that this fits on so I don't know I might do a video of that someday but I'll at least show you how this goes together and things at some point but that'll be another video once again thank you to my husband He's, he gets kind of extravagant sometimes <laughs> but I really appreciate him we had a wonderful time this weekend we we rode down in the rain and back in the sun, and it was very nice. And on the way home, we stopped in Portland, and I've already given my son-in-law his birthday gift, but at one of the art supply stores where I'm from, um, I live in Maine, and we um, had to drive through Portland to get home, and there's two art supply stores down there that I've never been to, so we stopped and I bought my son-in-law a drawing set. Um, he's very artistic and it was his birthday. Um, but they came over for dinner right after we got home, so he's already got it. So, And then we stopped at another store and I picked up two other things. The first thing was this set of Tombow dual brush pastel pens. I have quite a few Tombow pens because I like to do modern calligraphy um, and the brush end of these is very good for that. Something I've never really done with them until recently, however, was I just started this sketchbook which I revealed in a haul recently um, and something that I realized with the sketchbook, which by the way, this is, a, this is from Lita art supply and it is wonderful I really enjoy it and it takes a beating and one thing it takes very well is watercolor brushes as a matter of fact um, I swatched another set of my pens right on the page here right on I almost think this is the second page yeah and it holds well and it does not bleed through to the other side so I thought it would be really nice to have a light pastel set for this book specifically so I found this at one of the art supply stores so I picked that up and I've almost ordered this on Amazon a million times um, but I found this at another art supply store in Portland, so I picked this up. It's a dot card of Daniel Smith colors. So I do have some, but I don't have all of them, and I don't really see affording to buy all of them. So I thought it would be nice to swatch these out from the dots and, and pick and choose. In my Daniel Smith palette, I have room for, I think, five more colors. So... That's, I think, what I'll work on is finding the five colors that I like best, and then I'll probably pick them up one at a time. That is about it. And you will be seeing these things more in upcoming videos, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and I enjoyed sharing it with you. You have a great day, and I will see you soon.